Hey, I'm John Connell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making easy, delicious fish tacos. So let's get started. First off, I'm making a quick marinade for my fish just to give it some extra flavor because you want your fish tacos to have all the deliciousness. One teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper for some kick, half a teaspoon of salt, and now I have some lime juice, but I am gonna do something unsurprising and zest the lime first. I might add this to the sauce later. I love lime zest. Now that my lime is naked, I can juice it up. So add that right in there. We're adding some acid into this and it's gonna give us a wonderful flavor and also it's gonna start denaturing the proteins in the fish. Uh, which is why we can't let this sit for too long. It's a really quick marinade, it's just 15 minutes. If you let fish sit in acid too long, it'll like fully cook through. It doesn't actually cook to kill bacteria, but it cooks in the texture, so the texture will change, which is how you make ceviche. Give this a quick whisk just to bring it together. I have one pound of like a nice cod right now. It's a big piece of fish. It's too big for this like to sit in, so we're just gonna turn it over every once in a while. So leave that in here, I'm gonna turn it over. Actually, no we're not. I'm gonna cut this in half. <laughs> there we go, much better. Ah. Wash your hands, get another bowl out. Now we're gonna make a delicious sauce for our fish tacos while it marinates. For the sauce, we just need a couple ingredients, starting with half a cup or 120 grams of sour cream. I want a quarter cup or 60 grams of mayonnaise. Add some nice tang to this, but if you don't want to use mayonnaise, just skip it, it's totally optional, kind of. To give this some more zing, I'm gonna use more lime juice now. Two tablespoons or about the juice of a lime. You can add more lime juice for more runny sauce. And um, if you don't like lime juice, I don't know what to say. So my scale's done. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna give this a whisk and a taste. I'm tempted to add some extra things to it that aren't in the blog post just because that's how I feel today. I hope that when you're in the kitchen, you feel that you have the freedom to try new things, new flavor combinations, and really play with recipes. I also wanna add in about a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. It's a new bottle. <laughs> teaspoon of sriracha, or less or more, it's totally up to you. Now, a taste. Mmm, that is good. But I wanna make it even better, so here's the deal. I'm using my rasp to grate some fresh garlic in here. I don't want it to be like overwhelmingly garlicky, so I'm just adding like half or a third of a clove, along with a pinch of lime zest. Two pinches of lime zest. <laughs> Tasting number two. I like that much more now. Okay, this is gonna hang in the fridge while we cook our fish up. It's very quick though. My fish is almost ready, but today I wanna make some fresh salsa for my tacos. If you want, you could just dice some tomato or eat it plain. Almost anything works with a fish taco and there are so many variations. But since I have all these tomatoes and everything else, why not have a little fresh pico? Okay, give everything a nice chop. I'm just doing this like, to taste basically. I'm not using the recipe today. So it's like, oh, about half a cup of diced red onion. Gonna add several tomatoes in there, give them a nice chop. I was reading about the history of fish tacos because I was interested in like, what's the deal here? Fish tacos were popularized in the US in the last like 50 years. And now they're like kind of ubiquitous. You can get them anywhere. They came from like Baja, Mexico. So, in places like Ensenada and San Felipe, there's so much delicious fresh fish coming out of the ocean every single day. Why not eat it in a tortilla? And you could just have it just like that. You can add a little bit of lime juice. You could add salsa. You could add like a crema sauce. There's so many different ways to enjoy it, either grilled or fried. It's just a pleasure. So as long as you have fresh ingredients, this is something you can make at home in just a few minutes and really enjoy. Handful of fresh cilantro, one of my favorites. Some jalapeno, you could add any chili you like. This might look like a lot of jalapeno, but I've not been having any luck with hot jalapenos lately. I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of cumin in here. Grate some more garlic. Watch your fingers. 
to finish it off, we want some nice lime juice. These guys have a good balance of acidity to really wake the flavors up, and that includes in the salsa as well. Making these tacos really brings back some memories of all those trips to Baja California and makes me want to go back. Give that a toss, and what do you know, it's time for our fish to get cooked up and delicious. Look at this, ooh, that looks good already. And a little bit of salt to taste. Give that a mix, and it's perfect. Now I want chips too. This fish is looking lovely, so we're gonna cook it up now. You just need to grab a big pan, like this. Onto the flame, one tablespoon or so of olive oil. You could use any like higher heat oil that you like. I used to like using avocado oil a lot, but it's not as easy to get where I live now. Get the oil nice and hot. We want it to shimmer in the pan. It's over medium high heat right now. Come around and see the oil. I want you to see what it looks like. Come here. It's not smoking, but look at that. Do you see the ripple in the pan? There we go. The oil is hot. My fish is ready and we're gonna cook it up. You don't wanna have a lot of extra marinade on this, so just shake that off. <laughs> We're gonna cook this for about three minutes on either side. It'll take on a beautiful color, and when it's cooked through, it'll flake super easily with a fork. And in the meantime, let's chop some cabbage and get everything ready to go so we can assemble our amazing fish tacos. My fish is getting ready, and one of the main components that I love in a fish taco is cabbage. I love cabbage in general. It adds so much like fresh flavor and a beautiful crunch. And it's not like the crunch of a chip where like I love chips, I get it, but it's like a fresh crunch that really sets things apart. And then we'll just chop it into some smaller bite-sized pieces and crumble it up. It's been a couple minutes. I wanna see if it flakes apart. Beautiful, it's almost ready. This is a really thick cut of cod. I was lucky to get it at the market. Most of the times you're having a thin cut and it cooks like in less than two minutes per side. So just do the flake test and see if it's ready to come apart. And if it is, you're done. If it isn't, just give it an extra minute. Okay, I'm actually gonna cover this up, trap the heat in and let it cook through a bit more easily. That should be ready, let's take it out. There we go, now it's flaking apart easily. That's what I wanna see, perfect. I'm removing this from heat. And the one regret that I have with these tacos is that I did not make fresh tortillas today. If you've had fresh tortillas, you know they are life-changingly delicious. This is a really good brand though, so it's almost as good. If you wanna see a tortilla recipe on the channel, you let me know. I'm doing this the way my mom taught me. There we go, right on the flame. And I was making fish tacos with my friend the other day then I just, just lifting it up and she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm just flipping it over. She's like, why are you using your hands? So I was like, that's what you do, you use your hands. And she's like, do not show people using your hands to flip this over on an open flame. And I was like, why? And she's like, hello, you don't want them to burn yourselves. If you don't want to do this, um, you can use tongs. It never occurred to me to use tongs because I've never seen anyone do that in my life. <laughs> it's always been just like flipping it over. And if you want to know, these are corn tortillas, but you could use flour too if you want. Although, people have strong feelings about that, so you can talk about that in the comments. I'm not getting involved. <gasps> What's this? Ah! Uh, if you know, opening up an avocado that is not bruised and horrible on the inside is a moment of pure joy. So I was reading an article on the history of fish tacos, as one does, and it was intimating that Originally fish tacos were fried and then they became grilled as like a healthy thing, but that literally can't be right. I don't think it makes any sense. My mom is from Mexico and she always remarks on how like actually healthy most Mexican food is and what you find in the US is like like very different. So I just, I don't see them deep frying fish uh, at the local markets, but you can let me know if I'm wrong. Grab your tortilla. You can do this basically any way that you want. And I have to tell you that as someone who takes photos of food when I'm not doing these videos, it's very, I just like, don't know how to take a good photo of a tortilla. You can take a look at the blog post and let me know if you think I did a good job or not. I really tried hard on that one. Some beautiful cabbage. 
a little bit of my pico. Mmm, ah, it's so beautiful. And just a little bit more of this sauce on top, along with a few leaves of cilantro. And finish your tacos off with a spritz of lime juice. If you don't have the lime juice at the end, I'm disappointed in you, it's so important. And just like that, your tacos are ready to enjoy. Mm. So good and delicious and fresh and crunchy and creamy and amazing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, maybe have a little bit of agua fresca. And if you like this video, check out my Latin playlist.